Uh, my skin is not liking me right now. I'm breaking out so hard over here. I hate it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Sachika. Welcome to my channel. I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're having a great day and let's get into it. So today I wanted to talk about how to apply to a US art college. And the reason I say US specifically, even though I am going to a UK art college, is because I applied in a very non-conventional manner to the to UAL. And I don't really know how to explain it because uh, I had a lot of help with my application. And so we are not going to talk about that. <laughs> okay. Now, first and foremost, in a, a US college expects you to be a well-rounded student. I cannot emphasize this enough. They want to see that you're a good student. If your grades are bad one time, they do want to see like a graph of it. Like, were you bad before and have you improved? Were you better before and there was just one anomaly grade where you've done badly and you know, you're otherwise a good student. Which is what happened to me because I had an E in my ASLs which we got just before applying to college and... But the rest of my subjects I had an A. So I had three A's and one E. Which doesn't look good at all, that E, because it was in art, which I really am so salty about that. But I always, I have always, always done well in school and they saw my grades in grade 8. I'm sorry, I hit the guitar. I did well in grade 8, 9, 10, 11 more or less till the finals. And even in the finals, I did well in every subject except art. And they loved my portfolio, so they realized that the AS level art grade was kind of an anomaly down there. I don't know what happened. They don't know what happened kind of a situation. And yeah. So let's start with your portfolio. Your portfolio is about 50% of how they assess your application. And they go through it and they want to learn something about you either as a person or a student or an artist or something or the other about your life, your experiences, your memories, whatever. They will either learn what is your preferred style if you have already developed it. I don't think anybody has at this age, but it's up to you. So your style, your art style, your preferred medium, the mediums that you're good at, mediums that you like to work in, Maybe a personal memory, maybe something about your personality. If you guys watched my uh, portfolio video, I'll put it somewhere, you know where the information thing is. If you guys watch my portfolio video, in that video I talk about how each and every piece is something personal to me, something about me, about my family, my life experiences, things I have done in life, whatever something related to me it was all very very personal very very individual and yeah side note my room is really messy right now because like i'm moving to london in about less than two weeks and it's just a huge mess anyway moving on uh your portfolio is about 50 percent of your application i would say 10 to 15 percent are your grades so do well in school guys just do well in school my grades, my art grade was really bad in the 11th as I have been harping on about but the rest of my grades were pretty good and I had like a good curve of like I was a good student so they know that that one low grade was like an anomaly in my graph. If you do a line graph it was up there and that grade was like down here and that was the only one grade where I had done badly. So they probably realized that okay they do look at your graphs more than your individual grades so they like either an improving graph or a steady graph so it is very important that you focus on school other than creating a portfolio another thing about your portfolio i would absolutely recommend starting at the start of your 11th junior year 11th 
grade, AS level, first year of IB, whatever you want to call it because you will apply halfway through your second year and that one and a half years just gives you enough time. About your essays, please ignore the background noise if you can hear it, someone's drilling something. <laughs> About your college essay, I will make a complete separate video on how to write your essay, what they expect and what I wrote in my essay because it's very important to have a good essay. But basically, you will write at least five drafts before you're happy with your essay. So just bank on that. You will take at least two to three months to completely reach a happy ending. So don't ever think that I have to submit my application tomorrow. I can just do my essay tonight. That's not how it works. Your college essay will take a couple of months to get right. Get a check from English teachers, college counselors, older students in your school if you can get in touch with them. And if you have someone helping you with your portfolio, if you have an advisor, get a check by them. Send it to a couple of college reps if you have a good uh, rapport with them and ask them if they can check it out, if they can give you feedback or whatever. Like I said, I will do a completely different video on what I included in my essay and what I would suggest that you include in your essay as well to a art college. I think most art colleges in the US, they don't expect you to have standardized testing scores, the SAT, the ACT, all of that. They don't expect it, except if, except two to three, I think SAIC expects it, it's compulsory, and RISTI expects it, I think it's compulsory for them too. They don't have a very high score expectation from you, I think the cutoff is 26 and for RISTI it's 30 or something, but I would say do well in it, even if it's not required. So even if you have, even if you're applying to call only colleges that don't require it, the only thing you need to do is add to your application. It won't ever take away from it. You have to know that. A lot of it is, you know, if you do well in your SATs and ACTs, it adds to the fact that you're a good student. If your grades are also good, and standardized testing is basically the norm in the US, so just do it. Like I said, it'll only add to your application, it won't take away from it. Of course, if you're applying to SAIC or RISD, it is a requirement, so just do it. Now, another thing that I want to tell you guys is that look like genuinely study your college websites. For example, RISD had they have like this thing where they they prefer structural pieces I think so does Pratt they prefer structural pieces so build stuff make models with different kind of materials and so on and so forth just be experimental like I said with your portfolio, they want to learn something from it about you from the essay, same thing. They want to learn something from it about, oh, okay. Let me break down the percentages of your application. About 50% is your portfolio. 50 to 55% is your portfolio assessment. Next, 10 to 15% is about your grades. Then I would say 10%, 10 to 15% is your essays. That's 55 plus 30, that's 85%. And 15% is everything else. Co-curriculars, if you have an interview, then extra then interviews. Your recommendation letters, what your teachers think of you. All of that great stuff. And that extra 15%, if you give an ACT, SAT, situ, scores, situation, thing, then that is the extra 15 It just gives you that extra 15% push in their eyes if you have done well in a standardized test. That is there. What else did I have to tell you guys about a US college application? Oh, okay. Most of them expect about 10 to 15 pieces of your portfolio. Parsons is the lowest, I think, with 8 to 12, but they also have the Parsons challenge in it. Do include sketchbook and develop mental pieces if you can. I had an entire slide which was just full of stuff I have done over the last like 
seven, eight years. Okay, no, that's not true. Four years since grade nine. And like still lives and faces and figure studies and you know, all that good stuff. Right, your college, the college that you're most keen on, their website is your Bible, honestly. Just, these colleges are super open with what they expect. They put all the information on their website. I think that's where I learned most of my information about applying to them. Apart from my college counselor and the visits that we had to school and my portfolio advisor, and yeah, I'd say study the websites religiously, make notes. I don't think ever anyone would have ever told you make notes on a website, but do it. I absolutely assure you that it will help if you make notes on the website. And if possible, attend as many portfolio days, college visits, whatever in your country as you can if, even if it's virtual at the moment I'm sure it'll be virtual even if it's virtual if it's not free then buy a ticket and do it trust me it'll be worth it you get to show them your portfolio get feedback sometimes you can show them an essay and get feedback from that it's just a lot of feedback of the feedback the better it is for you because the rep of the college will know exactly what the college expects and yeah i think that's all i hope this helped you check out all my other college videos i do a ton of them because i am starting college so they're mostly about getting into college there's one more which i need to do which is college essays and i'm not sure how many more i'll do if you guys need any more help just dm me my dms are open to everybody the link is in the description to my instagram subscribe stay tuned for more like this video if you liked it if it helped and i hope you guys are having a great day and bye <laughs> developmental blah blah blah, blah. so the more the, the more bye what happened to my voice there?